Hi, my name is Ian Gidichai. I'm the chef from Thailand. And today I'm going to show you how to make potato dumplings. It's going to be a dessert, and then you're going to see that it's so easy to make. And then today I'm using dehydrated potato flakes, which is the 100% U.S. potatoes. And uh, it came basically look like a flake, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do, I have hot water into the bowl. And then I'm going to add half of the cup. USA dehydrated potato flakes. As you can see, it's forming really fast. So as you can see here, it forming become a mashed potatoes within um, 30 seconds. Well, um, why it's still hot? I have the one already made, which is the coal now. So you can actually add any flavor into it. So I have three different kind of uh, flavor here. I have the plain flavor, which is I just showed it to you. And then second one, uh, basically I add three tablespoon of pumpkin puree, become slightly orange color. And then the last one, which is uh, light purple color. Um, I'm using the, uh, a flavor from uh, taro root, which is, has been uh, powder. And then you can find that in uh, Asian store. Then I mix it together, make it cold, and then I'm gonna roll into the uh, a shape of the uh, uh, small berries again, into the uh, tapioca flour. Of course, you can add a little bit of um, cinnamon so you can taste the uh, cinnamon flavor in it. The taro root flavor. So as you can see, I'm actually changing from the uh, flour into dehydrated potatoes. It's gluten-free, and then this is the uh, rice flour, or you can use the uh, tapioca flour. And then I have made the uh, coconut syrup. Basically, same thing as well when you do the simple syrup. You made the uh, equal one-to-one -one from coconut milk to the sugar, and then you get coconut Simple syrup. Afterward, after you're rolling them to be a, a berry chef here, what you can do, you can turn them on the plate. Just roll them around like that. To coat, I'm going to strain it off. Take all the flour out. Again, this is the uh, gluten-free dessert as well. This is the uh, potato flour. Then we drop it into the hot boiling water. You can check by when they flow, just like that. It means they're ready. Again, like I said in the beginning, because of our mashed potato has been cooked already. And then dessert is ready. So I have Try colors. The white would be potatoes. The orange would be pumpkin. And the purple would be the uh, taro flavor. I have these three condiments. Cooked tapioca pearls. I have the last side of tapioca pearls as well, just to give them the uh, texture. And here is the toasted sesame. And then I have coconut syrup, which is made from palm sugar and coconut milk, one to one which is mean one pound of palm sugar and one pound 
of coconut milk. And here is your potato dumpling dessert.